Let's take a look at the image controls for the image viewer. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick render with F9. And our image viewer comes up. And under File, Image Controls, we can, we can do some uh, interesting things. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another image so I at least have one more render to work with. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Light Properties and under Light Intensity, I'm going to crank it up to, well, let's just go extreme. It's going to be a bit much, but let's do 200 for the light intensity. And I'll do another render. Yeah, it's pretty bright. Okay, so if I use my page up and page down, I can toggle between and compare, but there's other ways that we can go about comparing the two so that we can see both images at the same time. So what I'm going to do is go over to File, Image Controls, and what I can do is if I want to view both of them, I can go foreground and I'm looking at the, the first render I did and I can uh, put this one in the foreground and now I'm looking at the second one. I can put the first one in the background and under blend mode, uh, by default it'll be set to none. If I change it to horizontal, I can take and use the blend slider and we can see that we can see half of the image. I'm kind of at the halfway point. I can see half of the background image and half of the foreground image. So I'm blending with the horizontal. So if I switch to vertical, now the top part is showing the background and the bottom part is showing the foreground or the second render and the first render. Okay. There's also dissolve, alpha, and difference. If I want to see the actual difference, I need to go all the way over. This is showing the difference. I, I, I usually use horizontal or vertical just to get a, a good idea of what's going on here. Now, there's these other options. This is exposure, white point, black point. Man, if I want to, if I want to gain access to the, to being able to adjust the white point and black point of the image, that would be pretty handy to, uh, to make some tweaks to my image before I save it out. But I don't have access to it um, right now. In order to gain access to it, I'm going to go ahead and close this down, and we'll go ahead and just um, we'll leave this up. This should be fine. Actually, you know what? We'll just close it down so that we can um, start fresh. So I'm going to go over to Render. Render Globals, and under Render Display, instead of Image Viewer, I'm going to choose Image Viewer FP. Okay, the FP version can can be used to show the whole 192-bit range that Lightwave renders to, unlike the Image Viewer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select that, do a render, continue, and I'm going to go to Light properties and I'm going to do another render. I'm going to set this, the light intensity to, oh, I think we had it at 100, uh, but I'm actually going to lower it to 50 just so we have more of an extreme. And go ahead and do a render. Continue. Come over to File, Image Controls. See how now exposure is, is an option that we can use? I can still go and blend and, and use the blend modes. I'm going to set those to none. But I'm going to go over to, um, I'm going to put the second render in the, in the foreground and turn on exposure. And if I want, I can start in real time adjusting my black point and white point. This isn't just darkening or lighting the, the image. Um, I'm actually changing the exposure on the render. Uh, in real time, which is which is pretty nice. Now, once I've adjusted this and I'm happy with what I've come up with, uh, I can save it off. So what I can do is come over to Save Exposed, and I can choose the format that I'd like and save out my image. Again, so if we want, we can always go to Image Controls and compare with foreground, background, compare multiple renders uh, at the same time using the blend modes. If I want to take advantage of the exposure options, I need to make sure that I go over to the render, render globals, and use the image viewer FP versus the image viewer. Okay, that'll that'll allow me to go over to image controls and take advantage of exposure. So this is just a quick look, just an introduction to um, to the controls here, and uh, and remember that you can do as many renders as you want. You can page up and page down to, to
toggle between the two, but sometimes going into the image controls and using the blend modes allow you to compare right next to each other what's going on.